아, 오늘은 우리 그 저희 오랜 친구, my very old friend from Beijing, Chen is here. So we are talking about the classroom teaching today. How we uh, uh, innovate the way of teaching in the classroom. So the uh, so far, every people using blackboard in the classroom, and some advanced classroom use a projector. So when uh, 200 years ago, uh, when classroom has a blackboard, we really excited. Every teacher come to there to draw and writing to have a presentation there. But about 20 years ago, let's say 30 years ago, when we have a projector and PowerPoint, the blackboard definition has been changed to multimedia blackboard. So they don't have to erase. They can repeat to show what they present. And now we have a smart world. Everybody has a smartphone. They are watching video uh, lectures much more than listening lecture from classroom. Unfortunately, there is no uh, real product who can really do uh, presentation directly to the smart device. This is what I am I'm trying to show. And many people watching this way how we do this. So can you... Uh, We have only one mic, so maybe I can I can speak quickly what I'm doing now. So here we have a PowerPoint. So from my notebook, I have actually a notebook here. So uh, here I can switch to notebook. So what I am claiming, we we are trying to make a campus everywhere, and also we are trying to bring new smart presentation device, which means. Uh, when I have a presenter here and presenting material, so we can make a bigger presenting material and bigger presenter, it makes the same uh, switching as like you are sitting in the classroom. In the classroom, every student is watching projector screen depending on how teacher gestures. If the teacher pointing the screen, everybody watching the projector screen. When teacher watching students, everybody bring back to watching teacher. This is what this machine doing automatically. I'm not touching anything, but they automatically doing. This is called uh, Smart PD, because uh, production director, usually in the broadcast control room, they, they decide which one they have to show. Now, uh, we invent automatic switching like this. When I keep talking, they show beautiful classroom, about million dollar classroom coming out here. So students become more uh, like a feeling as like they are watching in the theater. So uh, this time I bring another definition which is called smart campus. So if you look at the Minerva, you know the Minerva company, Minerva School in USA. They bring students in Korea. They have, a, they have no campus. They have no professor together. But actually uh, they are uh, moving the campus to Korea, Singapore, London. So students has a, a campus in, in worldwide. Any nice place they can go. But how many uh, campuses they can have in different places? Maybe uh, four or ten campuses they can, they can feel, they can enjoy the cultures. Now if I use this technology, the students in the school can travel thousands different places, not only the places, but also different world, like universe, or inside the water, or human body inside. Everything they can travel to feel virtually how the new world is, looks like. That's why I think this is a new virtual campus. So I believe every, every uh, school has to be changed Uh, using new AI, VR, AR technology. So first thing I am trying to bring here is the smart class. So all the lecture we can put in smart device. And also iStudio, which I'm using now, is the real tools for you to make a live presentation to the smart device. It's like all the people watching my video. 
They are watching from smart device. They are watching from their smart computer, which means we are connected in real time. I can send my video to any place in the world. This is so beautiful world that we can share everybody's knowledge without paying any money now. So, and also once I finish this presentation, this video stay forever. As long as the Facebook, yeah. Facebook stay, this video will stay there. So these two concepts, how we make a campus worldwide, how we make a presentation from any place to any smart device in the world, this is a really innovative technology so every teacher can use to bring their knowledge, to put their knowledge on the smart world. That's what I'm, I'm trying to change now using this technology. So when I put my pointer here, they automatically bring the screen here. So I am trying to change all the existing broadcast studio to be a smart broadcast room. Imagine how many school broadcasting studios we have. More than about 20,000 studios already there. But if you visit any school broadcast room, 90% of studios are actually dark, which means nobody using, the, the light is turned off. So very uh, huge time people going and do recording, mostly in junior, senior high school in Korea or elementary school, they do only one time per week. When they have rain, they do some more uh, the broadcasting for each classroom. But they never thinking from that broadcast studio, they can make a YouTube live to make 100 channels, to make uh, uh, many, many channels from students, many distance learning from the teachers. Now we are trying to put iStudio there to turn their existing studio, existing school studio into smart broadcast studios. Just pay about fifteen to $20,000, they can make a hundred channels YouTube immediately. Any teacher can go and make e-learning. Without any production or editing, they can make a live like I'm doing now. And also, the, another problem we have is the uh, large auditorium or a large classroom. What happened in a large classroom? The teacher is there and projectors, multiple projectors showing their PowerPoint in different screens in different uh, locations in the classroom. And this method is very uh, bad. For example, in a large uh, auditorium room, when they have a presenter here, when they have another announcer here, their face is too small to see. And when they have projector, the light turned off. Eventually, everybody watching PowerPoint and listening audio only. I call this is audio conference. Many large classrooms, many auditorium rooms, we have this problem. So far, nobody solved this problem. That's what I'm trying to bring, new technology, how we make a big screen using normal projectors. We connect multiple projectors. We can use a large screen as one screen to show big teacher's face here because uh, the teacher's gestures, motions, face is very important part of the presentation. That's what I'm trying to change, to realize, to complete the stage of the auditorium room. So all the stage, if you look at the large classroom auditorium room, they don't have any stage ready to use. Any people who wants to have a presentation, they have to decorate by themselves. Even they put many devices there, it cannot make a good presentation there. This is what I am trying to change, the way of presentation in the large conference hall or large auditorium room. An office. Now all the office, when they cross the door, it means they have a secret room. What they have a presentation there, they cannot go outside. They cannot invite people from other countries or other places. But it's like you're watching now, if I do presentation from here, now I believe there are many people watching from other countries also. Uh, sorry for my bad English, but anyway, this is what I can do. So this, this smart office is like I'm, I'm using now, my, my room like this. So uh, if, I, if I move the camera there, I can erase this so I can show what my smart office is. So the, the camera I can move. So from here I use a virtual uh, chroma key there. And then the studio here. 
So here we have a Facebook live screen there. I can I can do YouTube same time, and I have a, a screen here the live. So this is a typical way of office. I'm trying to make a standard how we make office for everybody. So this is called smart office. So now this time in uh, Ulsan exhibition, we are announcing the uh, notebook version of smart office, which can be mobile, so you can carry it to everywhere. And the other technology, another technology I'm bringing now is a 4D theater motion chair. So all the students who is riding here, they can travel any place in the world. Imagine how many nice place 360 video coming to YouTube, how many nice videos from Vimeo. All this video they can watch from their uh, HMD devices. Unfortunately, there is no motion. So if I make small motion effect, they feel like they are flying. That's why I call this is a helicopter. You will see many many helicopter port in everywhere in the world. I hope the next year. I will open many helicopter port in many nice places so you can you can enjoy that part. If I bring that machine in every classroom, every school I mean, the students can come to see uh, Europe weather or a nice place for Brazil, America, uh, any place they can fly. So they can select a YouTube video and they can see this one as a virtual travel. So that is the, one of the most important part for education. I believe there are many content from human body, many content for universe. We can just use. This is a new platform. If I make a standard for virtual travel machines, everybody will make a new content for them to share. Such a beautiful world of universe, such a beautiful world of country they can show there. This is what we are trying to change the way of education platforms there. I hope you enjoy today my uh, bad English. Anyway, what I am defining is iStudio is the world first tele presentation devices. If you type Wikipedia, what is tele presentation? You will surprise that there is no definition at all so far. I'm trying to type how we define tele presentation system so people can really make a presentation as like I'm doing now. In my desk, there is nothing. You can see uh, my, my room like this. I have uh, just a table. This is uh, for camera movement, as I, uh, as I mentioned. It's uh, just a messy uh, office there. But uh, my, uh, my camera looks not very beautiful. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to uh, make a such kind of studio from this environment. A small room, but anyway, you can show many things there beautiful studio every time you can create. This iStudio providing many uh, easy tools for you to create a beautiful studio. For example, I can, I can turn my studio like this. Immediately my studio become very serious for having different rooms. Any, any picture change, you can immediately bring new style of rooms uh, very easily. So this is the tools how we uh, provide uh, uh, novice people who doesn't know how to create studio, but they can make a studio by themselves easily. So starting from the studio building, starting from how you make a cameraman action, and also how you do presentation automatically, is the key idea how we make iStudio to make a telepresentation system. This is not so easy technology part, but anyway, what you has to use is so easy that you don't have to worry about anything except your presentation. It's like you are doing normal presentation there. So the iStudio is the device from your presentation uh, place to smart device. It's like you are watching. So the new notebook version we are announcing in this uh, exhibition in Ulsan. So any teacher can bring this one to any place in the world, in the car, in the airplane, in the train they can do also do presentation by themselves. So this is the notebook version I am, I am announcing here. Uh, we can, you have uh, two small monitors in side by side, so two monitors there. But when you go to your of office, these two monitors become two TV, big screen coming out as like I'm doing now. And you do the same thing as I'm doing now. So this uh, way you can change your office 
to have a broadcast station, to have a smart world connected from your room to any person in the world. This is a really exciting time for you to create your content by yourself. So the telepresent office means, so far if you see the Cisco telepresent, uh, once again if you type Wikipedia telepresentation, there is no definition uh, yet. Uh, so I'm, I'm typing something. I make a wiki, uh, Nam wiki, which is Korean version I type. The English version we will put there. So telepresentations so far didn't happen yet until we make this size studio telepresentation system. So every, every room you can make this kind of presentation. So combined virtual class present and presenting material showing there while you are showing other people's here. So, uh, for example, when you have a Cisco machine, you have a presenter here, and you have a PowerPoint here. This is called telepresence, because you bring presenter here. But now I am bringing the virtual presentation screen on one screen, so we can put here another person's. The Cisco camera can show the participant in another classroom to here. If you use this one for classroom, we can bring teacher's presentation here and the students in the classroom where the teacher is teaching can show here. And you can do the same conference but you have a telepresentation. So you feel it's like a, a, the students coming into the same virtual class. This is what we call telepresentation system which will really make office to office and also classroom to cl classroom. I'm, I'm discussing with Kevin, I'm in the chat now, about how we make a Beijing University, Seoul University and Tokyo University making joint collaborative class. And we can make a small competition which university has the best record there. This kind of uh, uh, competition we can do. The same thing we can do, I can propose to the Ministry of Education to have a uh, Seoul University maybe some Pusan University, Taejeon University, they, they make a, a professor sharing. One, one sector, Seoul University, another sector, uh, Taejeon University, whatever. And, but the t students in the same classroom, in virtually, so they can have the same quality of lecture as like you're watching my video. After that, they have an examination, they have a competition, so people can have real final result as open competition. That will change the structure of university. Now, the university, once they select the university like Seoul University, everybody believes they are good students. Once they have an opportunity, not starting very hard, so they select a, a, another university, then already many people thinking they have no good ability. But actually, all the people's talent is different. They has, should have a chance to, to improve again, especially for universities, a place where they really make a professional knowledge there. So we are, uh, we, are, we are trying to change the current education paradigm using this new smart presentation technology. Anyway, we, I show many times that uh, the iStudio has to be used in the classroom to enhance their class. Once we prove the way of iStudio presentation in the real classroom, so the, uh, the students really believe this way is the better, then we can easily transmit this video to another classroom. And same time, we can show this one everywhere in the world. That is the new paradigm of virtual class. That's the new definition of virtual electric whiteboard, which I'm bringing using iStudio technology. I make many examples of testing the putting in the uh, device in the real classroom. I see what their response is, and then I saw how nicely they can give this one. We uh, put this one in many places. I use this one for, you see I'm, I'm coming down to, from stage, but while I'm doing presentation by video, we verify the video presentation using iStudio is better than normal presentation live. And also we use a, a non chromaki mode there. Anyway, this one also uh, very effectively. Anyway, I, I did a lot of presentation here, so I don't have to repeat this one today. So uh, today I show uh, some of the presentation to uh, uh, Chen, 
to bring this technology in China. Already many universities in China are using i s t u d i o right? Yes. So, uh, <coughs> uh, how many universities are using the i s t u d i o in China now? Mm. How many? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more, more than five years or yeah, s- yeah, yeah. so. Years. Many famous universities already use, right? Yes. Now I am trying to uh, uh, bring every classroom has to use i Studio. Yeah. So it may, yeah. How, how many classes in Beijing University? Many classrooms. Many classrooms. More than thousand, right? Thousand. Two thousand. Ah, yes. Two thousand classrooms. How many? Uh, Classroom actually recorded. Not so many. Yeah, even they have a many lecture recording system there. I don't believe students will see this video because uh, this video looks like a CCTV video, not like I, I'm doing now. Yeah. So it's a very important time for us to work for make a live broadcasting system in the classroom. So I want to put this device in every classroom to make a valuable presentation to be a cloud, so every people can watch together. Anyway, today uh, I'm very excited to have a uh, Chen Chen here. Uh, we'll talk about the next steps how we change paradigm of education. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for my English. <laughs>